gasoline, my oil, my measuring cup, and my mix can. I open my mix can. Hopefully I don't spill any gas. It happens. So right now I'm going to do some uh, 32 to 1. That's mainly what I run. So I need to measure out. 32 to 1 is 31.25. So all I do is simply pour Maxima Caster in here. And I get it a little bit above the 30 mark. So, right there. Make sure that's right. Yep. Okay, now, take this and pour this in here. This is known as a mixing can. On the side, it even has, not this side, yeah, this side back here. It actually tells you how many milliliters and everything. So, I let this drain for a sec to make sure all the oil gets out of here and into there. So, yeah, that's good. Close that back up and you can actually hear I don't have much of this left so you can see on the back here possibly uh, crap if only I had a flashlight oh I do uh, gotta figure out where it is on this phone flashlight see if I can get it so it can be seen yeah you can actually see on the back there it actually has gas oil on the left, 25 to 1 on the left side, 30 to 1 on the right. And it actually, it's measured in milliliters. And it actually has somewhat of a, uh, it really doesn't have anything to do with measuring on it. I mean, it says 25 to 1 on the left, 30 to 1 on the right. But it's still the, pretty much the same thing. So, yeah, that I really don't even bother with that. So, 31.25 milliliters of oil to 1,000 mil, milliliters of gasoline. So, now... We add the gasoline. Now, the reason I do it this way is when I add the gasoline, as the gasoline gets poured in here, it stirs up the oil. So, I don't really have to do a lot of shaking to mix it. A lot of people will add the gasoline and then add the oil. Well, if you do that, you have to shake it. There's a possibility stuff can, uh, the gasoline will leak, and I know that will happen. Uh, it's happened to me. So, now just put this over like this. Push down. Be very careful. Especially seeing I'm inside my house. This is where I usually do it. It's raining outside right now. So now at this point, it's about half full. I'll put the cap on just to make sure all the oil is. This right here, which is the pouring side, doesn't have a rubber gasket on it so right now while it's only about half full I'll shake it because the gas isn't all the way up here if I try to shake it with the gas all the way up here uh, I'll get gas on the floor it'll start leaking so now just lightly shake and get the oil and now you can see most of the oil, well, pretty much all the oil. There's no oil sitting on the bottom now. So now at this point, I can fill it up to a thousand milliliters. And every now and then you'll have to stop for a second and look at the back. And make sure you only add a thousand because you don't want it to be leaner than what you were wanting. And I 
and put the gasoline away. Put this cap on. Yep, and now I have an entire liter of gasoline, pre-mixed gasoline, ready to go. I don't have to worry about anything leaking as long as I leave it set up. If I was to tilt it over, there's most likely going to be a little bit of leak, but not a lot. Like right there. I mean, I tilted it over and there's a little bit of gas that came out, but not a lot. That I can't clean up real quick with a paper towel if I can find them quickly. But even then, it's not that big of a deal. It's just a little bit of gas. So... Now at this point, I can take this with me wherever I want, wherever my fifth scales are going to go. Uh, or I can go ahead and fill up my vehicle with this and then make another liter and take one or two vehicles and have fun. Or if I want, I can take the oil and the gas and everything that I just used, which will be this, the gas can, and these two, and I can refuel out in the out in the field and it's a, a lot more simpler to do it than this way than having to carry a big bucket that has a lot of numbers on the side and trying to find those numbers with this one all it is is you measure how much oil you want with this and then you fill this up to a thousand milliliters that's all there is to it and as you can see there is no oil down at the bottom well there's no oil down here it all got mixed up as I, well, there's a little, but that's not that big of a deal. Once I get out somewhere, I can shake it up and all the gas will, all the oil will get mixed up. And I can actually do that right here. I don't care if a little gas gets, I mean, this is my RC room. So now all my oil is completely in there. Uh, but you, you, every time, if you have one of your RC vehicles sitting, when you're fifth scale sitting or this sitting, the oil can uh, come out of the salute the the gasoline oil solution and come to uh, basically what would the word be? I can't think at the moment of this certain word. Uh, it's going to come out of the solution and all the oil will gather down at the bottom and you don't want that to happen you want the oil and the gas to be a homogeneous mixture so when it goes to be ran in the vehicle the 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 carburetor is going to pull as much gasoline as oil so so not more gas than oil you want it both to come at the same time to the carburetor and that'll go into the engine so the engine will be lubricated properly but that's how i mix that's how i've seen a lot of uh, even racers mix because honestly all you need is a liter at a time because most of these tanks are only 750 milliliters uh, i know some people that do a gallon at a time well if you do a gallon at a time guess what you're either going to have to burn all that off in a fifth scale or you're going to waste some gas by I know some people that used that fuel for bonfires but in my opinion that's wasting gas and polluting in some ways because that's raw gas going straight out into the atmosphere but yeah I've got some gasoline right down here uh, that'll get cleaned up really easily with some uh some dawn we'll probably break it down first with some denatured alcohol and then some dawn I'll make sure not to smoke in here at the moment or even light a cigarette. But yeah, you're going to have to be careful with this stuff because uh, it's, a, it's a lot more flammable than uh, nitro fuel. So yeah, that's how I personally mix my fifth scale uh, fuel with oil. And now I have every one of my tanks are full. And now I can take this with, with whichever vehicle I want and run it. If I need to add a little bit more oil, say for the Baja 5T, to run it a little uh, richer with oil, I just add uh, 2 milliliters of oil, and it'll run cooler. Which, surprisingly, you may not think it'll do that, but it actually does. But, that's it. That's how you, how, how I mix uh, gas, uh, two-stroke gas and oil. But there's not a special gas. Yeah, 93 octane at least.
Peace.